Hello, friends. Today we have a special episode with Super Tony's best tricks and experiments. Keep calm and enjoy this new compilation. Hello, friends. Today, Tony and I are going to do some experiments with magic. How exactly? <laughs> well, we are going to show you some magic tricks. Let's see if a normal person can become a successful illusionist, especially if you don't have any superpowers. Tony, are you ready? Then Sim Sala Bim Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy! Let's start with a modern and very spectacular trick. It is known as Impaled Beyond Belief. We take a pull, we take Tony, we place him a little higher, we let go, and ooh! Tony, are you okay? Phew, I was scared. Actually, friends, Tony's life wasn't in danger. The fact is that a special pull with a folding tip is used for this magic trick. When we let Tony go, the stick folds in two and fixes itself in a special device on the back of our illusionist. And from the other side, another pull comes out, so it looks like Tony has been pierced. Let's move on. The next one is not exactly a magic trick, but rather a very spectacular illusion by Michael Jackson. When he was singing one of his most famous songs, he tilted his body almost 45 degrees. Try to do it. It's not that easy, is it? The secret is in his special shoes and the pins fixed on the stage. It turns out that the King of Pop attached his shoes to the stage in a special way while dancing, which allowed him not to fall down. <laughs> and finally, let's repeat a 2,000-year-old trick, walking on water. Watch Tony closely. So, he put on a special inflatable sneakers, and he's running on the water. Cool, Tony, good for you. Do you think the secret of this trick is in the shoes? Well, no. This special gadget just distracts attention and gives the trick a little plausibility. The inflatable sneakers would need to be much bigger to keep you on the surface. The secret of this trick is simple. There are transparent platforms made of a special material at a short distance from the water surface, and the magician is running on them. And now for those who stayed with us until the end, we have a small bonus. Tony and I will show you a simple card trick, which you can learn to amaze your friends. We need 21 cards from a card deck. We ask a member of the audience to choose one. We place the cards in three packs facing up. We ask the spectator to tell us where his or her card is. Now we combine the piles, making sure to place the pile with the chosen card in the middle. We do this two more times. After that, the card will always be the 11th from both ends. As you can see, this trick is simple but it will make your friends believe in your magic abilities. Hello everyone, Tony, take your magic wand and your robe. Today, we are gonna practice some magic tricks. Dear viewers, if you see this caption on the screen, you should pause the video and tell us in the comments how do you think the trick is done. After that, we are gonna explain the trick ourselves. So, Expectulus Patronobulus, hmm, or something like that. Anyway, let's start. So, we need two empty glasses. We are gonna place a little ball in one of them. Pretend to pour water from one glass to the other. There's no water, of course, but the little ball goes up. Whoa, magic! Actually, it's a pretty easy trick. You just need to tie the ball to your clothes with an invisible thread. You can buy one in a special magic shop. To do the trick, just move the glass away from your body. The thread will tighten, making the ball seem to float. Now, dear friends, we are gonna teach you how to make different objects hover in the air. To do it, we need an aquarium. We are gonna place a foil boat that we made beforehand inside. And look what happens. It's floating, look, real magic, or is it? Actually, this is possible thanks to physics and a gas that is filling the aquarium. It is known as Krypton, and it's three times heavier than air. Thanks to this, our boat doesn't sink, and instead floats in the air. You can easily do this trick at home, if you manage to find this gas, but you should know that it is really expensive. For our next trick, we are gonna need a piece of paper. 
First, we tear the paper in front of our viewers. Keep tearing until all there's left are little pieces of paper. Now, take the little pieces in your hand. Tell some magic words and slowly take a whole sheet out of your hand. Voila, it's back to normal. Truth be told, there's no magic here. To do this trick, you are gonna need two similar sheets of paper. Fold one sheet of paper and attach it to the corner of the other sheet. So, once you tear the sheet in little pieces, you will have another sheet completely whole, which you just have to unfold and wait your deserved ovation. Friends, remember, before you show these tricks to your friends, you have to train a lot. The idea behind an illusion is that the viewer should not guess how it was done. That's how people start believing in magic. Hello everyone, Tony, stop procrastinating. Today, we have a great episode with all kind of experiments you can perform at home to show off in front of your friends and family. Come on, we need you to start experimenting. Let's go to the lab. For our first experiment, we are gonna need hot water, a bottle, a bowl, and a peeled egg. So, carefully pour the hot water in the bottle. Turn it around and pour the water out. Now put the peeled egg in the bottle, and behold, the bottle ate the egg. The secret is that the hot air in the bottle cools down and compresses, decreasing the pressure inside. Thanks to this, the egg ends up inside the bottle. For our next experiment, we need to go outside. We are gonna use a bottle, a wine cork, a pair of scissors, three pencils, scotch tape, baking soda, and vinegar. So. Place the bottle upside down and tape the pencils on it using the tape. Turn the bottle and fill one third with vinegar. Now add five or six spoons of baking soda. Shake the bottle, close it and place it upside down. The chemical reaction inside will create a lot of carbon dioxide. So Tony, run away from it. You have approximately 30 seconds to escape before the pressure forces the lid out, creating a rocket thrust to infinity and beyond. Ouch! You see, that's the reason why you should always wear a helmet when performing this kind of experiment. Let's go back to the laboratory for one last experiment. I went to a special shop and bought some liquid glass and some copper sulfate. First, we need to dilute the glass with two parts of water. Take a jar and pour the copper sulfate and then our mix inside. Now we have to wait. As a result of the chemical reaction, Amazing silicates similar to seaweed will appear. By the way, instead of copper sulfate, you can use different metal salts. <gasps> the only thing different will be the color. You can place them all in an aquarium and create a rainbow of color for seaweed. So friends, if you want to perform some of these experiments, don't forget about safety measures. Wear safety gloves and glasses. Hello everyone, Tony, put on your lab coat and let's go to the lab. We now have to make two videos every week. That means that we have to work twice as hard. Come on then, today's experiment is gonna be super interesting. Let's go. Let's start with something known as hot ice. We're gonna need baking soda, salt, vinegar, a pot, and a tin. So, first we pour the vinegar in the pot and slowly start adding the baking soda while stirring. You're gonna need 200 milliliters of 9% vinegar and 25 grams or three teaspoons of baking soda. Once the solution has started fizzing, place the pot on the stove and start boiling the mix until you see white crystals forming on the sides of the pot. The result is concentrated sodium acetate. Let it cool for a while. If you did everything right, you'll see a crust on top of the solution. If that doesn't happen, then you have to boil it a bit longer. Now we slowly add hot water until the solution is homogeneous and the crust is gone. 
Then we pour the liquid in the tin and place it in the fridge to cool it down to room temperature. I believe it's ready. Tony, now add a pinch of salt. Wow, awesome. It instantly crystallizes and feels like ice, but it's not cold, it's magic. Tony, do you remember that magic outside Hogwarts is forbidden? Yeah, you're gonna be punished. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. Now it's time for another experiment. We're gonna make a volcano. The first step is decorating the vessel with plasticine to make it look like a real volcano. Now we pour water in the vessel and we add red food coloring, a few drops of dish soap and a couple spoons of baking soda. Meanwhile, we're gonna make a citric acid solution in another glass. Simply mix five tablespoons of citric acid and 1.5 glasses of water. Done! Now we pour the solution in our volcano. Tony, look! The sleeping volcano has woken up and is breathing fire, all thanks to the well-known chemical reaction between soda and acid. The soap makes the lava bubblier and the dye makes it red, so it looks like a real volcano. Friends, be careful with these experiments at home. Playing with acid can be very dangerous, so always use gloves and safety goggles. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Hello friends! Today we have the most experimental experiment of all the experiments in the world. And of course, Tony will play the main part. Yes buddy, I think you have eaten way too much candy and have gained a few pounds over the last days. So, starting right now, you're gonna stop eating sugar for a month and we'll see what's gonna happen. Let's start! So, instead of sweets, you are gonna eat fruits, vegetables, yogurts, eggs, and lean meat. And instead of drinking soda, you are gonna drink plain water. I see things are going well at first. But after one week, it's clear that something is not right with Tony. His body is trying to adapt because it is not getting the usual amount of sugar. As a result, Tony is constantly feeling hungry, anxious, and stressed. The reason is that sugar enters the human body and stimulates the production of dopamine, the happy hormone. But there's another hormone, cortisol, responsible for stress. So, right now there's an excess of cortisol in Tony's body, because there's no sugar. But you just hold tight, Tony, this feeling will go away soon. The second week is pretty hard. Tony is constantly feeling the need, the need for sweet. And he's annoyed because everyone can have sugar while he can't. But there's a way out, eating dried fruits. They will replenish your glycogen reserves, as well as give you energy and make you feel happy. Therefore, at the end of week two, Tony's life is getting back to normal. The third week goes pretty well. The bad things are behind us, right Tony? Now, you don't want something sweet all the time. Moreover, you don't want to sleep all the time and you have much more energy. By the end of the experiment, Tony's body has adapted to the new diet. It's getting all it needs from healthy food. Moreover, the extra pounds are gone, the blood pressure is back to normal, and the cholesterol level has dropped. You even look prettier, Tony. We can say that our experiment has been a success. So, now you see how sugar affects our bodies. We are not saying you have to stop eating sweets for good, but try to be moderate. Only then you'll be healthy and happy. So, tell us in the comments your thoughts about healthy food. The most interesting option will be featured in the next episode. Until then, see you in the next episode of Super Tony's Adventures. Goodbye!